Meanwhile, Russia says its troops captured several Ukrainian armored vehicles and tanks while repelling a counteroffensive in Zaporizhia on Saturday. Footage released by the Russian Defense Ministry shows its forces inspecting a German-made Leopard tank and two U.S. Bradley infantry vehicles. These were part of Western military aid to Kyiv ahead of its counteroffensive against Russian troops. Let's uh, bring in journalist Yulia Shapovalova in Moscow. Yulia, what more are the Russians saying about this battle in Zaporizhia? Well, Russia's top officials have acknowledged the Ukrainian counteroffensive is underway. They do not comment on Ukraine's gains and successes, but do admit heavy losses for the Ukrainian side. We see the military activity uh, stretching all along a huge part of the front line from Zaporozhye further down to the south. Uh, the Russian military bloggers have called the Ukrainian attempts a failure, but at the Ukrainian end, we hear that uh, they haven't actually started their proper offensive. Uh, they're currently using around 15 to 20 percent of their reserves, testing Russia's defenses, trying to reveal their weak spots. Uh, domestically, we keep receiving reports about regular shelling of Russia's border regions. Uh, there was a report by the governor of the Kursk region of Russia that two border villages in the Kursk region were shelled in the early morning of June the 13th. Uh, luckily, no casualties were reported, but quite significant damage was caused. Uh, as analysts here say, while commenting on Ukraine's actions in light of the counteroffensive, uh, the Ukrainians try to divert Russia's attention now to make them send part of the Russian reserves to defend those border regions of Russia. So currently, it seems like Ukraine uh, can benefit from the situation, but uh, things quickly change. Therefore, we have just to wait and see. Thank you, Yulia, for the update. Yulia Shapovalova, live there in Moscow.